guys, my name is Nairi and I'm running an adoption family support type channel with tips and advice, parenting, the joys, the highs and lows of adoption, all of those things. And today I'm going to talk to you about perhaps some of the reactions that I've had to adopting the boys. So if you think that my channel could be useful to you, then please take the time to subscribe on the pink subscribe button. So the boys and... We had a long journey to get the boys anyway because they were fostered first, so they're now 10 and 11, but they were two and three when we first met them and they went off for adoption, which failed, and then they came back to us and now we have them for life. And it is wonderful because we have some wonderful times of them alongside challenges, so I'm honest with you here. So some of the things which really surprised me actually, and this maybe links with my video on network, is that some of my friends and family have been very supportive and amazing and I just don't know what we would have done without them. I don't think we would have survived without them. And other people who perhaps are not so close to us and you maybe call them a little bit more like acquaintances or people that we haven't seen for a while. Sometimes I feel like they don't understand adoption and they don't understand what drives adopters forward and what makes them feel good. And occasionally I've had the odd comment which I would say has really disappointed me. And I did notice um, one, one time when we met friends that we hadn't seen for a while. At that time, I guess the boys didn't present as well as they do now. I think sometimes if you're with the boys for a long time, you can tell there are development issues and there are they needed their strength built up. We had a lot of work to do for them physically, emotionally and in every way. And we met with um, some friends. I can remember saying that we were going to be adopting the boys. At the time, we'd just been foster carers. And it was just the look. It was the look of, are you sure do you want to do that? And are you crazy? And uh, are you, they're probably, are you a bit old? Because I suppose at a push, I could just about have had the boys naturally if we work out my age. But I thought maybe that could have been the case for some, some other people that we didn't know as well, maybe. I can't answer why we ended up adopting the boys because it's something that we felt instinctively was right and called to do and I think if you're an adopter and you meet your child for the first time or you know you're on the pathway and you're on the journey you'll know what I mean there's something inside of you that says yes this is the right path and I'm going to carry on walking in it we all want life to be so perfect families to be so perfect don't we everything to look rosy and great and wonderful and there were times when the boys didn't look rosy great and wonderful didn't speak appropriately didn't you know, follow the pattern of um, your everyday family. And it would have been very easy for people to look on and think, what are they doing? Because don't forget, we already have five birth children. And I think it's, um, you know, people may have looked on and thought, this is, this is crazy, you know, why are they doing this at their age? And it's been worth it in every way. The challenges, the sorrows, the highs, the joys, uh, no risk and no reward. And I think if you find that you are going to have some negativity from people, I'd like to think it's the people that are not really close to you, that know you really well. I'd like to think that your immediate family are going to be supportive of you. But even if they're not, and you really feel passionately about adopting a child and you know it's right for you, no condescending look, uh, no disapproving look or judgmental comment. Um, there was a social worker in the beginning that I'd said to her that I would even consider adopting the boys if I was given the chance. And she laughed me out of the room and said, there is no way, Nairi, there is no way that they are going to let you adopt those adopt those boys you are their foster carers they will want them to move on um, where there's you know probably no other children and she just absolutely shot me down and said it's not going to happen so don't even think about it but the thing is I just thought it was going to happen and I can't tell you why I can't even tell you why uh, basically you know people can be wrong about things and Nobody knows how things are going to turn out anyway, do they? You know, we might have tried uh, to do this with the boys and just found it too much, but we didn't. And um, there we go. You just have to follow your heart, follow your, your dream. No one's going to live your life for you. And nobody, um, 
you're the one who needs to look back and not have regrets, whatever you decide to do. So I'm here to encourage you that um, if you do have people who are trying to put you off for whatever reason, uh, to keep going, to keep going. And possibly if you're with an agency and it's not quite working out right, but you still believe passionately you should be adopting, then look outside the box and see where else you can go. Hope this video encourages you guys and I look forward to seeing you on my channel. If you subscribe and hit the notification bell, you'll know when I bring out other videos.